Over two and a half lakh accents sold since the car first arrived in 2014, but the attempt now with the facelift is to try and make it more relevant to the individual or family buyer, and which is why you're seeing a real push on the styling side of things. And yes, the car looks different. The rear gets a new taillight treatment, completely new, and that was the one big criticism which has been addressed, and I'm glad it does look pretty nice. In the front, you have a very similar sort of a headlamp to the previous car, but it's the front grille that's become more Elantra-esque. It's uh, the Cascade grille, as Hyundai calls it, part of its new uh, design philosophy, and you will see that on the new Verna as well when it arrives. Daytime running lights make an appearance here. They're not switched on because the car's on stage, but uh, the whole front bumper makes for a much wider look. And I think, again, that's intentional because it was something the company was going for, a new alloy pattern, and the 1.2D badge here tells you this also has the new 1.2 liter CRDI engine, unlike the 1.1 in the previous car. Now let's look inside. Now the diesel comes with the five-speed manual gearbox. The petrol does too, but the petrol also still has that four-speed automatic option and uh, the diesel does not have an automatic. The big advantage on the Accent has always been its spacious and roomy cabin, something it shares with its hatchback twin, the Grand i10. And uh, so that continues, of course, but you have an updated palette. The materials, the colors, the textures are a little bit refreshed and you have a new layout for the central console with this big screen. It's a touch screen. It incorporates uh, both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. I've got Apple CarPlay hooked on right now. And uh, you know what? It's nice to see all of this coming into this car just like it did with the Grand i10. You can also opt for certain features like a charging dock and a stand for your phone. So you can use some of those features on your smartphone on the go. All of this though is only at the top end. The uh, base variants don't get a lot of this technology, but dual airbags are now standard across all variants, which is great.